question is number of digits in 2075 how many digits are there in 2075 is the question now we know um, 2075 2 powers we know that this is a uh, this is a very big number 2075 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into how many times 2? 75 times 2 into 2 75 times 75 in times of 2 you have to multiply that is 2075 so this is going to be a very very big number which we cannot find out by manual multiplication Because the number is very big, the manual multiplication, it's very difficult to find this number. It's a laborious task. So it is at this time a uh, logarithm can be you know is very useful in finding the solutions to this problem. So we have there is a logarithm table is provided here. This is a logarithm table of certain numbers. I have picked certain numbers for uh, analyzing the behavior of logarithm and uh, the number of digits of a number let's take uh, uh, let's take you know, different numbers here for example let's take a uh, uh, number let's take a number 65 the logarithm of 65 is 1.8 now let's take another number logarithm of 975 is 2.98 what about logarithm of uh, 1000? Logarithm of 1000 is 3. Okay. Now, what about uh, logarithm of uh, um, 89456? That is 4.9. Now, what about logarithm of you know, a big number consisting of 9 digits is 8.09? You see, there is 9 digits here. And that logarithm of that number is 8.09. Now there is another number which has consisting which consists of 10 digits. What is the logarithm of that? The logarithm starts with 9.09. So you see a particular a particular behavior between the number of digits and the logarithm. When the number of digits is 10, the logarithm starts with 9. When the number of digits is 9, the logarithm starts with 8. And if the number of digits is 2, logarithm is 1 you see here number of digits is 2 99 2 digits other logarithm is 1 point it starts with 1 so we can conclude that if a number has you know uh, 5 digits if the number has 5 digits then its logarithm is going to be logarithm is going to be 4 point something if uh, uh, a number is uh, a number has three digits, if a number has three digits, then it's going its logarithm is going to start with uh, two points. There will be two point some fractions. If a num number of digits are uh, thirteen, then its logarithm is going to be twelve point something. Okay. Now this is the uh, you know property of logarithm, but there is a correlation between the number of digits and the logarithmic value. Okay. Now our question is our question is two power seventy five. Okay. Now let's take uh, yen is equal to let's say that the number two power seventy five is yen. Let's say yen equal to yen equal to 2 power 75 okay now let's take logarithm on both sides then we get log n log n equal to logarithm of 2 power 75 okay now this is equal to logarithm log of what is 2 power 75 2 power 75 is 2 into 2 into 2 into how many times 2? There is uh, 75 numbers of 2. We have to multiply 2 into 2 how many times? 75 times. This goes up to, into 75 times. 
Okay. Now, previously, we have seen a property of logarithm as logarithm of product of two numbers. Logarithm of product of two numbers is equal to sum of their individual logarithm. Sum of their individual logarithm. This is a property of logarithm. Using this, we can write using this property. We can write this is equal to log two plus log two plus log two plus equal to equal to equal to plus log two. How many times? Seventy five times. Because there are seventy five numbers of two here, so there's a seventy five numbers of log two addition. So when you add seventy five numbers of log two, you get seventy five log two. 75 log 2. Okay. Now, what is the value of log 2? Let's say from this table, yeah, from this table, the value of log 2 is, the value of log 2 is 0 0.301, 0 0.3301, 0 0.301 is the value of logarithm of number 2. Okay. Now we will take this value here and substitute it. When we substitute we get this is equal to this equals 75 into 0 0.301. Okay. Now we have to multiply 301 and 75 so that is a you know a simple multiplication so then we have to multiply a three digit number with 75 so that can be manually multiplied so that we have to write you know as a normal way we have to multiply 301 and 75 okay we multiply it here 301 and 75 so we get uh, 5 0 we get 15 we get 7 we get 0 you get 21 Okay, you add them, 5, you have 7, you have 5, 2, and 2. Now, what we have to multiply is 0 0.301, 0 0.301, so 3 digits here to put a decimal point from 3 digits from here, so it is, decimal will come here, so it becomes 22.575, so this answer is going to be 22. 575. Now, what is the what is the result that we have got now? We have got that if what we have got is if n equal to 2 power 75, then log n equal to equal to 22.575. We don't know the number n, but we know the log of that logarithm of that number. Now logarithm of that number is 22.5575. So based on the previous property that we have observed of logarithm, we can say that you know we can say that based on this you know whole number part 22, we can say that n contains n contains 22 plus 1 number of digits that is 23 digits that is 23 digits that is 2 power 75 contains 23 number of digits So here, we don't have to, um, uh, uh, we have to know only the value of log 2. If you know the value of log 2, if you know the value of log 2, then we can calculate this without, without the help of any computers. We can do this entire calculation manually without the use of a, a computer or a calculator. But you should know the value of log 2 as, the value of log 2 as point. 0 
0 0.301. In the similar lines, you should also know value of logarithm of certain digits, certain basic digits, you know, single digits like log 2, log 3, log 5, log 5, log 7. If we know the logarithm of these numbers, then any similar typical problems of finding the number of digits can easily be evaluated. But if we should know the logarithm of these in certain numbers, we should know at least some of them, like minimum log 2, log 3, log 5, we should, we should know it.